So we began the day at the Spot Coffee here in Niagara Falls, New York. Um, in a second here, I'll show the Rapids, which are right across the street. Um, pretty neat little coffee store. The reviews said it was supposed to be awesome. However, inside there was some snotty teenagers that waited on us, and it just wasn't a good feel. Uh, in my opinion, Starbucks coffee tasted better. So uh, you can skip the Spot Coffee, but as you can see here, the Rapids right by it are pretty amazing. Um, so this is kind of where we started out and just kind of took a little uh, video here in the beginning. And in a few moments, we do arrive over at the parking lot for the Cave of the Winds and eventually make our way over to Terrapin Point, which you'll see here in a few moments. So I've been to Niagara Falls on the Canadian side maybe four times in my life. Um, I live about three to four hours away. And I've never seen the American side of the falls at all. My wife has never seen the American side of the falls at all. And in our opinion, it was just as good as the ca Canadian side, if not better, plus close to free. Um, so as you can see here, we're making our way down to Terrapin Point, which gives some impressive views of the Horseshoe Falls and some other um, really nice views of the, the water up above as well. <clears throat> so if you've never been here before, you got to make sure to come. You know, just make the drive. It's pretty much free. It's a big state park. And as you can see, it's breathtaking views. Hey, Sarah, there's a rainbow. So to get to this point here, um, all you literally have to do is just drive to Niagara Falls, New York. You can go park uh, right at the Cave of the Winds parking lot, which is massive. I think it was, uh, I don't know, $20 or less to park. And then from there, you don't need to move your car at all the whole day. That's it. Park there, you're done. You can take the trolley anywhere. Um, here, you don't even need to take the trolley. You can walk here. So from your car, you can get to this spot within about less than 10 minutes of a walk. And this is the Horseshoe Falls on the American side. And man, I mean, that is beautiful. You can see the nice rainbow there. Um, you're able to see the boats on the American side and the Canadian side go down there. City View, Cruises, and Made of the Mist. Um, but yeah, this is Terrapin Point, and it is definitely worth coming to. So the next place that we had planned to visit was the Cave of the Winds. Uh, it's not really a cave, but you take a tunnel.